Hello, today we're going to show you how to wire an ordinary grade one domestic grade contact using end two ender line resistors and we're going to be using the 4K7 resistors which has got the yellow, purple, red and gold band and we're going to be using the 2K2 resistors which is the three red bands and a gold band so I'm going to take one of these off each of these here now these panels would typically work on Scantronic panels and Texcom panels and there's probably other panels it will work on there is other different panels and they all tend to use slightly different variations of resistors but for this one we're using 4K7 and 2K2 resistors and all I'm doing here is I've chosen one end of each of the resistors there and twisted them together what I'm then going to do is get my small screwdriver and I'm just going to force it to make a little bit of a hook there just to help me wrap it around the terminal screw same as an ordinary contact you've got two silver outside terminals there which is your contact you've got your three brass screws in the middle which is just there to help you joint it now I'm going to clip this little module out just to help you see what it is that I'm actually doing and if I just undo these like so clip that in there I just find doing the hook on it makes it a little bit easier and you don't waste so much of your resistor and then what I do then is I tend to try and put one resistor down in the gap in the middle there and then one resistor will follow on like so and go past so what we'll do is we'll undo the brass screw there With this one I'm choosing the three red line resistors which is the 2k2 resistor which will be your tamper so I'm going to put that to the brass screw there and then this one with the purple line needs to go to the silver terminal at the top there so if you've noticed what I've done there is the 2k2 resistor is the tamper and the 4k7 is for the alarm panel now just be careful that these don't actually touch and what we'll do now is same as the cable that I had before where we had the four wire contact I'm actually going to chop that off now because we're only using two wires if we just strip back about a centimeter of the insulation and again just twist it in between your fingers to tighten up the cores as I showed you earlier these are all single stranded cables so we'll just tighten them up a little bit by twisting them around and then what I'll do then is we will fasten that around the screw like so and the other cable then goes to the other end of the resistor so what you'll end up with is your two resistors 4k7 going across the contact and a 2k2 resistor which will be forming your tamper now I'll just tidy these up cut them off a little bit like so so what will happen here now if we watch where the reed switch is here which actually forms 
the switch for your contact which is that silver switch at the bottom there and we're going to line it up with the arrow on this plastic cover here and then we're going to clip that in so what will happen with this resistor now is that when the contact is closed it will skip this 4k7 resistor and the panel will only ever see this 2k2 resistor when you open your door it will force the circuit to go through this resistor and return through this resistor giving you a resistance of about 6k9 which will tell your panel that your door is open circuit so with that being finished now we can actually close that up as such and fasten that back to your door frame the other thing, other thing with these contacts that I'll probably bear in mind is that the magnet also has a little arrow on it when you fit them to your door frames just make sure that them two line up like so get them as close as we can they do have a good operational gap but I tend to find they work better and for longer if you get them as close as you can without them touching and that's it really I think the only other thing that you can bear in mind is that the different panels have different variations of these resistors the easiest one is the Honeywell panels because they're both just 1k resistors if for any reason you have accidentally pushed these over like so when you've pushed it back in and that shorted out on there that could cause you problems if it does put a bit of insulation tape or something over this leg here if you think it's going to be causing you a problem um, and I hope that was useful to you if there's anything else I can help you with just watch any more of my tutorials and hopefully there will be an answer there for you I hope that was helpful thanks